Welcome to Photo Finds. I'm your host, Kevin E., and this week we've got something different for you. We are going to a place called Airheads Trampoline Arena. Now, if you've ever been to any of these, there's uh, one in Tampa as well, uh, and then one by a different name uh, elsewhere in Central Florida, and possibly from the city you're from as well. Uh, these are essentially a facility for jumping around on trampolines. It's not just for kids, it's for grown-ups as well. So let's uh, take a couple of closer looks here and you can see now this is about half of the facility available um, total. The other half is on the left side of the image here. And so there are quite a few uh, trampoline surfaces to jump on, jump around, jump between. You can jump into the walls. Um, it's really quite a fun experience. Uh, there you can see some of the uh, the rules there, the safety first rules, but it boils down to you're going to want to take stuff out of your pockets. Uh, you can't jump with people at the same time on the same um, uh, on the same trampoline. They call that double jump. Um, and uh, safety helmets have to be worn by anyone under 18 years old. And we'll get a look at the safety helmets in a bit. So here's what it looks like when you're standing out there uh, on one corner of the field. And as you can see, they've got uh, these very soft foam rubber balls lying around that you can use to sort of play dodgeball with, or um, you could play basketball with. You see basketball here. There's a couple of hoops elsewhere that you can uh, throw things through, and there's a, uh, a volleyball net in a sort of separate volleyball room. We'll come back to that room in a minute. Uh, and here's the, these hoops. So they've also got a, a football. There's the football lying around right there. Uh, and you, all sorts of games will occur to you when you're out there on the, on the court. Um, such as you know, trying to toss it through and trying to defend with another ball where you intercept it or um, various sub rules for playing dodgeball with each other. Uh, it's really quite a lot of fun and this corner represents I think uh, an area that's of most interest to people who are particularly active. You can sort of, sort of bounce your way quickly across the trampolines and into the walls and then pick up speed as you bounce your way back into this wall. It just goes on forever and it's, uh, it's, you know, it's a workout. It can be fairly exhausting if you're not used to that sort of thing. Now, it costs about $12 per hour per person to um, sort of come to the facility and it's open, open jumping. They don't have reservations necessarily. And as you can see, this is a, a Tuesday night and it's not particularly crowded. They, they've only been there for about three months and you're going to have to um, Google the search term uh, Airheads Trampoline Arena uh, in Orlando. And as you can see, they, they sell food as well as uh, have sort of these prizes here in the corner. There are the helmets I mentioned earlier. They're very soft foam helmets. Uh, and they do make you wear their special shoes. Now, uh, if you have a child who's maybe only five years old, they can either go barefoot or wear their own. But uh, anything older than that, they have shoes that you have to wear. So uh, they have, as you can see, sort of in the, the posters here, dodgeball nights. They have uh, nights for teens. Um, they have nights where it's uh, two for one. That's Wednesday night. Uh, they also have uh, two hours for the price of one. I think that's on Friday night. Uh, so they're really trying to go all out and get people in here and, and um, uh, doing different kinds of games. And, you know, we're, we didn't come with a group, but we will the next time. Uh, it was definitely worth our money. Uh, and we're going to try to bring a group of uh, between 8 and 12 to come over here and sort of take over the volleyball room and, um, and see how much fun that is. And it is exhausting, and you, you will find yourself taking breaks sort of in these chairs here or the grandstand up at the front here. Uh, and there's no problem with that. You can step on and off the court whenever you want, you know, and you have a, a wristband that determines your, your time that you're allowed to be there. Here are the operating hours. As you can see, it's in kind of a business park, just, as I said, just to the south of... Um, the downtown of Orlando uh, and the operating hours are generally 10 o'clock until 10 o'clock uh, they do close early however on Sunday and this they open just a little bit late on Friday this week we're not at the parks but um, check back with us uh, soon and we should have more and different kinds of updates for you thanks so much for your patronage and we will talk to you soon